Cinderella. Once there lived a rich man whose wife was sick, and when she felt her end drawing near, she called her only daughter Cinderella to come close to her bed. Dear child, when I'm gone, be good and pious, and God will always take care of you, and I will look down upon you from heaven, and will be with you. And she closed her eyes and died. <laughs> the maiden went every day to her mother's grave and cried. Cinderella's father used to travel a lot for work. He decided to remarry so that he could get someone to take care of Cinderella. He got married to a widow who had two young daughters. Cinderella lived with her wicked stepmother and two unkind stepsisters. They treated Cinderella very badly. She grew up being their servant, doing all the house chores. One day, Cinderella was sweeping the floor. Yum! <laughs> After eating, one of the sisters threw the peels on the floor. <laughs> the stepmother came into the drawing room and saw the unclean floor. Cinderella, clean the floor neatly, you lazy girl! Can't you do a single thing properly? Yes, mother. I will do it now. Sorry. Cinderella was made to cook and do the dishes. Can I get some food to eat, Mother? You can eat the leftovers after we finish. Oh. <laughs> uh, don't start this drama again. Go and clean the dishes first. Cinderella picked up all the dishes and cleaned them. She was made to sleep in the attic. Every <laughs> night she cried and slept in hunger. Looking at Cinderella, the little rats and the bird felt bad for her and became friends with her. One day, the king decided to have a big party and called everyone from the town. The king wanted his son to choose one of the pretty girls to marry. The king sent an invite to all the young maidens for a grand ball at his palace. The people of the kingdom, I have a message for you from the king. Everyone is invited to the grand ball on Saturday of the coming week. He will choose a princess for the prince on the occasion. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Everyone was happy and Yay! jumped with joy. Cinderella was also very happy and excited as she always wanted to see the palace. Cinderella's sisters started preparing themselves for the ball with a great hustle and bustle. Come on, girls. Start preparing for the ball. I want the prince to marry either of you. And you, Cinderella. Help both of them to prepare. My girls should look like princesses. One of them is going to marry the prince soon. Oh, mother, the prince will marry me. Cinderella, fix my hair and help me get dressed. No, Cinderella, come here first. I will marry the prince. Cinderella was very kind. She helped both her sisters. I wish I could go there too. Can I come too? I really want to see the palace and attend the ball. No way. <laughs> Look at yourself. You don't even have a dress to wear. Everyone will just laugh at you and will have to face embarrassment. How dare you even ask such a question? The sisters and mother left for the grand ball. Cinderella was left alone crying. She remembered that she had had her mother's wedding gown. It was all torn. She began sewing it. Her little friends, 
the birds and the rats started helping her too. This will take lots of time, and by that time the party will be over. <laughs> Suddenly, a fairy godmother appeared. Don't cry, my child. I will send you to the ball. Huh? Who are you? And and how can this be possible? This dress is all torn, and, and I don't have a gown to wear to the ball. Don't you worry, sweet child. Gilly, gilly, boo. Cinderella's old clothes changed into a beautiful new gown, and pointing at her feet appeared glass shoes. Her mice friends and bird jumping on a pumpkin. Gilly, gilly, boo. She turned the pumpkin into a beautiful carriage. The mice became horses to drag the carriage, and the bird became her coachman. But Godmother, my stepsisters and stepmother will be there too. They will get angry if they see me there. Don't worry, I won't let them recognize you. Oh, thank you, Godmother. You are very kind. But remember, my child, the magic will only last until midnight. Remember to reach home by then. Oh, yes, Godmother. I will take care of that. She <laughs> waved goodbye and set off for the ball. When she entered the ballroom, all the heads turned towards her. The stepsisters <clears throat> and the stepmother couldn't recognize her. How beautiful she is! The handsome prince saw her and fell in love with her at the very first sight. He approached her. Hey, beautiful lady. May I have the pleasure of dancing with you? Yes, of course. The prince did not dance with anyone else. He could not take his eyes off Cinderella. Cinderella danced all night with the prince that she almost forgot the clock was approaching midnight. Suddenly, she remembered the godmother's words. The clock caught her eye. Oh, I must go home now. But it's just... As she was running, one of her glass Ouch! shoes slipped off her foot and she had no time to get it back as she saw the prince was running behind her. She quickly sat in the carriage and went away. The prince saw her shoe and quickly picked it up. Why did she run away? It was 12. On the way, her carriage disappeared and turned into a pumpkin again. She took a shortcut and ran and finally managed to reach home. I will find her even if I have to find her in the whole country. I want to meet that girl any way I can. The prince was so eager to see her again that he went along with his men to search for her. They went door to door. Every girl in every house was made to try the shoe on, but the shoe did not fit anyone. They finally reached Cinderella's house. Welcome, my lord. My lady, is there any girl in your house who came for the ball? My two daughters attended the ball last night. Get your daughters. They need to try this shoe. We are searching for a girl who is wearing this shoe. Ah, oh, one of my daughters might have worn this shoe. I will call them. The sisters were made to try the shoe. They tried to squeeze their leg, but the shoe didn't fit any. Is there anyone else at home? Oh, no, 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 no. I only have two daughters. Stepmother had locked Cinderella in the attic so that she couldn't try on the shoe. We need to inspect the whole house. Soon, one man saw the way towards the attic and the door was locked. Is there someone in here? Stepmother followed him. No, 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 no. There's no one here. You don't need to waste your time here, my lord. 
he broke the lock and went inside. To his surprise, he saw a girl sitting near the window. I found a girl here! The prince and the men gathered near her, and she was made to try on the shoe. The shoe fit Cinderella's foot perfectly. The stepmother ah! was shocked. No, no, no! I finally found you! What is your name? Cinderella. He instantly went down on one knee and proposed to her. Cinderella, will you marry me? Yes, yes. The prince took her hand in his hand and kissed it. He then rode back to the palace along with Cinderella. The king and queen were very happy to meet Cinderella. They invited Cinderella's father to decide the wedding. Cinderella and the prince got married and they lived happily ever after.